Hey, how you doing? Sean McGoff here. December 2nd, 2021. What a great day. All day long I felt God. I got the leaves done. I made a video about it and this is continue. I'm actually on my way to work. So by the time I'm in there, I got a few minutes. I came early. Tonight I feel great. All day long I felt great. I'm, it's, well, I'll tell you that whole story. But anyway, I'm listening to the great one, Mark Levine, and they're talking the whole abortion thing and the voices in my head fall. You got to go back to book one. Those guys are flying and the one way in back, he says, no, you know, you don't need to go to work just yet. You got to get this out. So I said, okay. It's your choice whether you believe me. Could be my deep subconscious, okay? I believe it's the voice of God. We have conversations. I'm no psy nothing psychic, whatever. It's how I feel. Hey, it is what it is. That's the way I believe it. I'm not telling you, I know there's a higher power. I hope you find yours. That's all I'm going to say. It's a long story. Anyway, I'm listening to the whole abortion debate. And Shaheen up in New Hampshire, she's a rhino from hell. I think it should should have stayed with the states. You have the Bible Belt. Those people are against abortion. Most of the state. I'm against abortion. I understand abortion. I know why people are. I'm against celebrating abortion. He's against celebrating abortion. There's a price you pay for abortion, and it's, you don't go to hell. I'm telling you, I'm not, I can tell you the whole story, but there's a price. And you're going to wish you went to hell. And I don't know how long the pain lasts. That's, I, I believe me, I chew him out, he chews me out. The brain, my voice is flying. There's so many MFs and shut up and just tell you what I tell you, but it's a long story. Anyway, here's the thing. People who lose a child, who no, you know, no fault, the kid dies, and you know, they get the same thing as the people who get an abortion. The exact same thing. When they're done, they're elated. They're relieved and they enter the gates. I don't know how long before you you were people who are celebrating killing children wait before you get into the gates i know you go if you're basically a good person you know it doesn't make you completely evil some of you are evil actually no it does it makes you evil you're killing a baby i'm sorry it makes you evil i think it makes you evil it's your choice but it makes you evil you're taking a piece of your soul away but you know what? There is a lot of evil because I just heard a thing on Elijah Schaefer and he looks into these weird things on the internet. He goes way deeper than I ever want to go. But there's actually a thing that young people are doing now. There's women taking viral men, getting pregnant near the, or they're getting, having sex right near the time that they're ovulating and they're taking this chance that they get pregnant and then they're going to get abortions and they're acting like this is a great thing. It's, it's just, this is like playing chicken. They're playing chicken with a baby. That's evil as shit. You mother F is evil. There he goes. I don't control this. That's evil. People look into this stuff. This is on the internet. This is what your kids are freaking doing. This is where they're pumping this abortion, abortion, abortion in your brain that it's a wonderful thing. I know it's out there and I'm not saying, I'm. oh Lord, it's not my decision. He thinks it's wrong. All right, I, he, I'm just saying. This is your his experiment. We argued this. I'm telling you. You think I'm crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy as shit. And I got to go to work. How do you think those people feel? They watch my videos. Some of them. Ha! Anyway. The same thing. The people who get an abortion. You, you feel. Uh, it's horrible. It's horrible. He explained it. It's. 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 For God, I told him he's, nah, I'm not even going to get into it. It's a long story. But the people who lose a child, who, who, man, what, they get the same feeling. That's all I can, you choose to believe me or not, America, I, I know this abortion issue is insane and it's crazy. And I, I hear saying that's going to be a revolution. Young people, look at your hearts. Look at yourselves. Go watch. Go to the Museum of Science and watch the sperm hit the egg. And almost right away, you see little things going on. And yeah, you, they've convinced you that that's just a bunch of cells. and means nothing. No, man, that's life. 
holy shit, we'll go to the deepest extents of the earth to save a whale, to save a dolphin. Not that they're not worth saving. They're nice looking animals and shit, but they ain't people. But we'll kill our own. And where did they put these abortion clinics? Didn't you get it? All they've ever talked about is eugenics, eugenics and population control and this and that. Man, do some real history, people. Black people, you you know why you don't have power? Because you're only 16% of the population after all this freaking time. But who you been listening to? Liberals. The Democrats. They're the ones telling you, abort all your damn kids. I'm a Republican. I'm a conservative. I'm a conservative first. I'm the one telling you, what are you doing? Have your damn kids and put them in class and get them in school. And they'll have a swimming pool like I do someday. They just got to marry up. <laughs> That's a funny joke. You got to go back and watch that. That's all I'm saying. Wake up, America. And I don't know where you go on this abortion issue. I think it should be a state issue. Some states want it. Some states don't. But go back and look at the, I forget who I was just watching, Ben Shapiro or one of those guys talking about how um, even when they did the Roe vs. Wade, 20 people died in the alleys and 40 people, or 20 people, 40 people died in the alleys, 20 people died on the table. So well, that's not a good option either way, but there wasn't thousands and thousands like they tell you. The guy lied about this 5,000 number, and he admits lying. You got to go back. I think it's Shapiro, Knowles, one of those guys. They're on Blaze TV. Check out Blaze TV. I love those guys. It's a huge joke somewhere way back. If you go back, and my language is atrocious, though. It's horrible. Anyway, follow me if you like. I don't care. I do care if you do, because one day we're all going to pray together. It's all about your God. You better wake up, America. Wake up, world. The world's waking up. They're not showing you it on, modern, on uh, what I call state-run communist news networks. But if you go on the internet and you can watch Australian news or watch, you know, news from other countries, and they're standing up. They're trying to. What happened to us, America? I'm not saying we got a riot, but these mandates and all this going against each other and race and separation. I just saw a thing tonight. Oh, this is funny. I, somebody told me, black people can't be racist. We had this whole argument. I said, that's bullshit. That goes way back. Everybody can be racist. Stop it. I'm, I talk to everybody. I, I hear what they say. Anyway, there's this thing now on on um, Twitter. You can do a big group chat. There's 12 black people. And one guy's in there saying, we got to kill all white people. That'll make the whole world better. Kill all white people. Yeah. And everybody's laughing. I think that's a hate freaking speech. I don't know. That sounds pretty hateful to me. Kill all the whiteies. Kill all the whiteies. Kill all the whiteies. Who the fuck's going to... Uh, who's going to pay all the taxes, asshole? Ha! All right? Kill him. Stop it. That's hate. You better go find out who this kid is because... Are you kidding me, FBI? I'm the guy because I love America and I love my brothers of all the colors. I'm the guy you're looking at, because I'm the same guy that might have been up there in Washington with a flag telling those idiots on the hill, don't go up there, idiot, you might get shot. Because there were people in the crowd saying that. I've seen the video. And I laughed like hell, and I was yelling at the fucking you, the YouTubes. Don't do it, what are you doing? I made my own video. Don't go into the, don't do it, all there is is Antifa everywhere, don't do it, I'm going home. Talk to the cops, told them have a great day. Eh, nobody wants to listen. Go watch the real video. Follow Steven Crowder. Go check out all the video from this. Kevin's Corner. Please, get away from the mainstream media. Get on the interwebs, as I tell my kids. Anyway, God bless America. Follow me if you like. I have conversations with God. Maybe it's my subconscious. I say it's God. I say my mind. I say what I believe he wants me to say to you. It's swearing up a storm now. I don't control. Well, I do control it. He allows me to. I found my faith. I found my God. I only know two prayers still, but I've heard all the hymns. All right? Bryson Gray, I listen to him. He spits fire and brimstone. He don't like homosexuals much. There's a long story. I got a bunch of jokes about that, but you're not allowed to say most of the jokes, even though I know a lot of funny gay people. But that's a long story, too. I can't keep going on here. I got to get to work. I'm already going to run late. Anyway, have a great night, America. I don't know if I'll post this or not. We'll see. God bless you.